Nigeria, happening in Kenya and a lot of African countries. It's now time to go to the crypto space. Uh, one day, one news. One day, one news. <laughs> Binance and, and Nigeria. Uh, Ladi has the latest news. Uh, Ladi, I don't want to be the one to let the cat out of the bag. Uh, it's your conversation. And <laughs> I, I don't know how it's affecting. I mean, you always speak to your guys here. Yeah. Uh, a lot of them in Nigeria, some of them have jackpot, though. Right. But now, uh, this, this will certainly affect them. Yes, this is uh, definitely another big blow to most of the traders um, that trade cryptocurrency on, on Binance. So we're hearing Binance there dropping support um, for the Naira What does uh, that pairs, mean? Meaning, um, normally, if you could uh, trade um, maybe your Bitcoin or your USDT, you could trade that into the Naira if you're trying to escape maybe volatility, you know, from the U.S., uh, from other... You know cryptocurrencies so you just buy you just convert that to convert your naira to usdt no or you USDT. convert your cryptocurrency to ngn which is the naira, naira. so and you, you have that and feature. we know that the naira is one naira is always going to be equal to one naira so that way you save yourself from volatility but you will still be hit you know from the FX market, you know, if the Naira actually weakens, but it's it's a it's a it's a but now you bunch cannot of directly do that. You can't do that anymore but from the eighth of March. Okay, from March. From the eighth of March, you won't be able to, you know, trade okay, your cryptocurrency you guys, into Naira. You guys need to collaborate with Nigerian governments. Yeah, I think yeah. The, the crypto community <laughs> need to find a way, you know, at some point because the US had Binance US. Maybe yeah. we need Binance, Binance Nigeria, Nigeria. to have its regulations exactly. that will be customized to suit Nigeria. To suit Nigeria, mm -hmm. just like that. All right, let's look at the um, headlines at this point. There we have the, the cats out of the bag. Yeah, Binance um, announces uh, phase out of the NGN support. They did announce that and an official um, tweet uh, today. You can uh, get that uh, tweet up there. You see um, they actually, you know, confirmed that. So it's no longer hearsay. Everyone's looking for, um, you know, get that direct information on what's really going on. And there you have it, Binance to discontinue all Naira-related um, services on their platform. Um, that's the, the, the biggest, one of the biggest uh, crypto exchanges um, right there in the world. Let's bring in um, Gilbert Jopata now, financial market analyst, to explain what this means and uh, what's going to happen going forward. Great to have you, Gilbert. Yeah, great to be here, Mr. Ladi. So it's, a, it's, a, it's another day, another Binance uh, story. And this time, uh, Binance have come out with an official statement um, dropping support for the Naira on their exchange um, platform. How is this going to impact uh, traders in Nigeria? Well, you know, after facing uh, increased scrutiny from the Nigerian government due to the allegations that was placed uh, on, on Binance, uh, Binance decided to uh, discontinue uh, services, you know, and business with the Naira. This is more of uh, an effort to show their commitment to compliance and transparency in in their operation. And uh, you, you know, deposit actually ceases today. Uh, that's by 2 p.m. few minutes from now, and then withdrawals uh, for 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 the Naira will cease on on Friday, which is March. But uh, halting the, the services for the Naira on Binance is quite a, a significant development for uh, Nigeria. And also it gives us an opportunity to reflect on the broader uh, challenges and, and impact of, uh, of crypto uh, businesses going uh, fully compliant. But then the impact of this service uh, of, of Binance, which is it stopped doing business with, uh, with the Naira, I think first of all, the impact will lead to an emergence of new alternative. And, you, you know, this comes in two ways. There are other businesses, uh, big crypto exchanges as well, which, is, which have uh, due services to Nigerians, but then they were not uh, good enough to compete with Binance. I think this time around, it will give them uh, an opportunity. You know, in the forest, once the biggest uh, uh, tree in the forest goes down, it creates room for air and also sunlight for other trees in that forest to grow as big as that giant so we i think there will be an emergence of new alternative uh, but then for the local market we also have uh, local crypto uh, exchanges that offer peer-to-peer -peer, uh, service but then they were not even the match they couldn't come close to competing with binance or giving the kind of services which binance give so i think this will also give an alternative to uh, local crypto businesses that also offer such uh, services and then i think this also plays uh, uh, an emphasis of compliance and then risk management because the cryptocurrency industry in general in the entire world is going more uh, 
compliance, you know, the regulatory uh, guidelines and compliance is being made available all over the world. So as regulatory landscape also emerges and get better, uh, cryptocurrency investors and traders need to understand uh, more of, uh, should I say, more of uh, risk management themselves in uh, trying to do businesses with more of uh, crypto businesses that are more compliant. Uh, some of that thing, I think, will also face uh, limited trading volume in terms of the Naira in the in the cryptocurrency uh, in exchanges that actually offer services here in Nigeria. Right, and, and definitely um, when most traders uh, want to maybe cash out some of their profit, I guess they won't be able to do that anymore in the Naira. Well, actually, there are actually other ways you could do that if you want to, but then uh, the, the issues which the Nigerian government had was the allegations of, uh, of uh, manipulating the, the exchange rates. So uh, if, if Binance have seized this and then we had that uh, that challenge of maybe you know Binance may may be guilty or may not be guilty as charged, but then if that challenge of uh, a big exchange as Binance manipulating the the exchange rate is is being uh, curtailed, uh, there are other services out there which one could always use to exchange his crypto uh, assets or USDT back to the Naira at the end of the day. Yeah, still a developing story at this point. We'll keep tracking um, this whole uh, Binance and P2P saga in Nigeria. Thank you so much, uh, Gilbert Rupata, Financial Market Analyst. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me, Ms. Ladi. All right, quick uh, glance at the market now. We see it's still um, really bullish. If we put up, we see uh, extreme greed, 90 points um, right now. Remember how to use uh, fear greed index and um, traders wait to the see extreme greed before they take profit or buy into the market. And Bitcoin, they're sitting at $66,516 um, earlier today, 1.53%. So um, it, it, it's quite interesting that this is coming at a time, you know, the <laughs> clamp down on Binance. When, when the lot of... <laughs> Bitcoin and the whole market is really, really bullish right yeah. now. So you can imagine some of those traders that are in profit at this time. And, and they cannot. Might not be able to take mm. some of that profit. Well, but I, I think it's a message of hope uh, from, from uh, Gilbert saying right. that there are other ways. So this is the time to get close to, you know, consultants and all of that and perhaps find a way. Yeah. But I do wonder how... Um, this is going to uh, look like in the next few months because you know Nigerians always find a way around it. See if there's no more pair to pair right. to affect the forex rates at least for pair to pair. Yeah. But what about you know? At least uh, you when... don't have to go to Binance again to go look for uh, what the exchange rate is <laughs> <laughs> at this point. Exactly. Find your own exchange exactly. rate. Exactly. Find your exchange <laughs> rate. All right, Daddy. Thank you so much. Thank you. And that's it on the program. Thank you so much for being a part of Business Incorporated today. So much news, so much uh, that you can gather. So just go back to our YouTube channel, youtubecom slash channels web so you can uh, just you know consume it at your own rate and then we'll do it again tomorrow 10 a.m laddie williams will be here 1 p.m i'll be here but i'll see you tonight stock market report join me then